hello guys welcome to 3d home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to model this type of fence okay this is simple you know beautiful but um a bit technical okay so just pay close attention as i take you guys through on how to model this type of fence all right okay let me show you guys the top view all right so let's proceed without um, wasting much of your time so the first thing is our first step here is click on the plan view first okay and then pick your wall this, we're making use of two type of um wall thickness okay the first one is two to five which is nine inches then the second one is 150 okay which is six inches so let's proceed let's start with the nine inches so we click on your wall go to your wall settings change it to two to five okay this one is the first one and um click ok but before then let's change the material this is brick let's change it to white so glossy white and um ok so now click on this first partition make it three meters that's three thousand okay three thousand that is from here from here to here is three thousand then the next thing now is to click the next one now is to create this um this columns okay these ones are attached to it so let's make it is full block okay which is 450 let's make it 450 okay and then from here now to this other side let me show you guys something that's this particular one this column so you know we have three columns first second and third so we're modeling the second one now so the second one you click here okay tap control once all right and um type in 600 okay 600 same thing to the third column 600 again but make sure your plus sign is activated as with control by clicking control once okay so we have this one now then let's stop here for now okay let's model this other side first you can see we have another wall here inside a brick wall inside okay so how do we do that we can do that by first of all creating this opening okay we well, first of all create opening before attaching that particular design inside so we're using wall um door we're using door to create that opening okay so pick your door under your door click on this empty openings then select this rectangular opening okay and then this for the size let's go with one five okay that's the width one thousand five hundred and for the height we extend it later if it's not up to what we want okay so this is the one five and this is the middle okay so you click here now let's add this type of partition this other side make sure you're always tapping on your control okay okay now you see the need of shifting that opening a little okay all right so let's check out 3d now this is what we're working on okay you can see okay you can see that this one is a bit down so we are changing this one now this seal this seal to 300 so how do we do that click here okay and then change this point to 300 let's see how it will look like okay you can see we have the opening now okay 300 so now we are creating this brick wall inside this space okay so you do that by clicking on your ground floor that's the plan view and then this time around go to your wall and under your wall settings which is the setting dialog okay change this wall thickness to remember i said we're making use of two walls that's nine inches and um, six inches so nine inches is two to five six inches is 150 so we're changing this one now to um 150 which is six inches then for the material we're making, making use of this brick finish okay brick finish then now click from here from the right hand side to the left hand side okay if you click from the left hand side you see that the wall is up and we don't want to start adjusting so click from the right hand to the left hand side and then let's check our opening now you can see we have this but the wall is a bit showing that material is a bit showing here so click on this one to have a clean job click on it and then hold this node and reduce the height this is stretch height 
okay take it down a little so what is left now is this iron okay iron um, finish so we're adding this particular design to here okay so how do we do that we do that by using first of all click on your ground floor okay which is a plan view so we're we'll making use of really really tool okay so you click on real select this first one this metal rail and then go to settings under settings okay under settings this is how you see it first of all this is how you see it so click on that segment all right and you see this handrail we don't need it so you remove this handrail okay then for the rail okay click on segment let's increase the height the height is one meter let's draw that then i will show you what i'm talking about i want you to understand every step i'm taking okay let's take the 3d okay this is what i'm saying you can see the height is not up to what we want okay so how do we increase this height let's first of all know the total height of this fence okay total height of this fence you do that by checking your front elevation okay and um you can pick your line click from down to up this one is just the simplest way this is 1.550 that is 1550 so now go back to that um go back to your reel which is this one then click on settings then under this segment change this one to 1500 let's just make it 1500 so 1550 by removing 5 cm okay so click your 3d now you can see it's up to the height now at least we are leaving this little one just for the design you know so you can see we have one segment of that fence so now from here now okay from here now we we'll you know adding this by the side so the the, the length of your fence are the more you copy to have that particular length okay so click on your 3d or click on your plan view right highlight this one and then start moving this one from here tap control once so here okay from here tap control once so here so the more you copy the more set um the more partition you have okay so the more you copy the more partitions you have so this is how to model this type of fence okay all right if you find the video helpful please do well to subscribe and um, if you have any question do drop it on the comment section all right i will tell it to you thank you once again for your time see you on our next tutorial i'm kind of calm to be back <laughs> all right see you guys on our next tutorial <laughs>